Hello and welcome to another edition of Tobes Tries. So last week I swore I would never do another egg on this channel and so far that's holding true. However, this week's product has me just as apprehensive. Um, we are trying Natto. So I can get a picture of that. Natto. Um, this is a Japanese fermented soybean product. Uh, it's literally just fermented soybeans. Um, so in doing my research, I read some very interesting things about this. Um, so yeah. So this pack, I got this from the frozen food section of my local Asian grocery store. These two are still frozen. This one has been in the fridge for about a day. Um, so a little history on nacho. It's a, like I said, it's a fermented soybean product. Um, it's used... It's made using smaller soybeans, um, which are then washed and soaked in water for 12 to 20 hours. And then next, the beans are steamed for six hours. And then they're mixed with a bacterium called uh, vacuous subtilis, or more simply in Japanese, natokin. Uh, at this point, great care needs to be taken to prevent any other bacteria from cross-contaminating with the mixture. Um, let's get this open. There we go. Uh, the mixture is then... Sorry. It's fermented, of course, because it's fermented, at 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius uh, for up to 24 hours. The natto is then cooled and aged in a refrigerator for up to one week to help develop its signature stringiness. So if you can see there, this is the beans. They're underneath of a small layer of plastic. You can kind of see the stringiness there already. Um, so, oh my gosh, you can see that. It's like hot glue strings. Um, it doesn't really smell terrible. If anything, it kind of smells like old coffee grounds, to me at least. Uh, it does come with like a soy sauce packet and a mustard packet. Now this isn't like French's yellow mustard, it's more along the lines of like kind of spicy Chinese mustard. And I guess you mix both of these in here and then you stir this up and I got a little bit of flack in the last video. People were saying, who just eats the salted duck egg without uh, kanji, which is like a, I believe it's like a rice porridge, Chinese rice porridge. Uh, you would typically eat this over rice as well. However, kanji, I, I actually intend to do an episode on kanji someday. Uh, regular ass white rice, not so much. I've, uh, I've done right, white, white rice before. And it's fine. I like white. I I like rice. Asian food is uh, served with rice. But on this channel, we just like to go straight into the unknown. So this is the soy sauce. Yep, just soy sauce. And this is the mustard. How am I supposed to get like, into this tiny little packet of mustard? And just kind of squeeze that on there. Yeah, it kind of smells very similar to Chinese hot mustard. So there's the natto with the soy sauce and the mustard on it. And then you just mix it. Just want to make sure it's all mixed in there. <clears throat> I'm rather thankful that this is a very small portion. Um, I guess this has a very strong taste. It's got a very stringy texture to it. So, unlike the egg, I will be attempting to at least eat all of this. I don't know, can't say the same for the other two packs, but if I like it, yeah, why not? Um, and if I don't, well... 
that's what this channel is all about. So as you can see, I have mixed this thoroughly. It's very stringy. It's very sticky. It still doesn't smell terrible to me. Um, it definitely smells less like coffee beans and mostly more like soy sauce and mustard at this point. So there we go. That is your final mixed product there. As you can see, it's very stringy. Even just like the chopsticks have the residue, it's very stringy. Alright, let's go ahead and give this a try. <laughs> It looked fine before I mixed it. Now it just looks so weird. That's actually not terrible. Um, I'm pleasant, pleasantly surprised. Honestly, I just taste soy sauce. It is cold from being in the fridge. I did read that you could microwave it slightly. Um, but I don't think you need to microwave it. It's not terrible. I could definitely see where having this over rice would be, uh, beneficial. Just kind of like the stringiness of it. Look at how, how far can we get it to string? Oh, I don't want to make a mess. All right. So it is fermented. I do eat a lot of fermented foods. Uh, kimchi is a huge staple. I always have kimchi in my fridge. All kinds of pickled vegetables and stuff are fine to me. I don't have any qualms with pickles. Um, I can see where, like, again, this might be kind of off-putting to some people. But the beans have a fairly toothsome texture. They're not, like, super soggy. They have a nice, like, firm bite to them, and the flavor, again, overall, predominantly, excuse me, soy sauce and mustard. I could have tried this, I suppose, before I added that, but I didn't think of that until now. But overall, I think this is fine. I actually would rate this fairly high. I would give this, like, a 4 out of 5. I would probably be inclined to eat this again, and... Um, if you are aware of all the health benefits of eating fermented foods, then you are aware that this is probably in line with that. Anyway, there you go guys. That is a nice, pleasant surprise. I was really worried as I was doing my research a lot. It said a lot of like people don't really like it. In fact, there are certain parts in Japan where they just don't even like it. This is very common in certain regions and then other regions they just don't get down on it it is very stringy anyway thanks for hanging out thanks for watching guys um, if you have tried nacho before and you liked it let me know if you've tried it and you don't like it let me know if you haven't tried it and you're curious let me know if I change your mind maybe you're willing to try it now i'll leave all the socials down in the link in the description below and uh yeah we'll see you in the next video